Now we're going to talk about how to add a software track to your GarageBand project. GarageBand is far more than just an audio editing program. It's a music creation software. So they have a lot of instruments available for you that you can create an entire uh, orchestral piece or a uh, rock band piece, whatever you'd like to. To create a software instrument track, you come up to the top a menu here, you click track, and then you click new track. When you click on new track, you'll see that three options come up. A software instrument, which allows you to create uh, music using softwares, or, sorry, instruments that are programmed into the GarageBand program. Real instrument, and that's if you'd like to set up a microphone. I don't know why they don't just call it microphone, but uh, that's what it is. And then also there's an uh, electric guitar. So you can actually connect your electric guitar up to your Mac and have it synthesize various types of amps if you prefer to do it that way. This other area down here where it says instrument setup is for setting up a real instrument, adjusting different uh, microphones, things like that to make the instrument sound the way that you'd like. Typically that's hidden. For this project we're going to say software instrument and we're clicking on that piano there and then click create. By default it comes up as a grand piano. If you'd like to change the type of instrument that it's simulating you can come over here and choose drum kits, guitars, horns, mallets, uh, synth basic strings, sound effects which covers all sorts of things like comedy sounds and nature sounds. Uh, there's a woodwinds area. There's no banjo. And that's the only complaint I have about it. There's all sorts of other instruments in here. So to start with, we're just going to go into the pianos and we're going to choose that default grand piano just so you can hear what it sounds like. Down here at the bottom, there's a little piano laid out for you. You'll see by hitting these keys. you have that piano uh, sound going on and it sounds very very authentic. But this may be a little difficult for you to play the uh, music if uh, you prefer to, uh, to play it by the piano. So what you'll have to do is come up to window and then click musical typing. This makes a little window pop up with your keyboard. You'll see W, E, T, Y, U, all of those things on the keyboard. So if you hit your keyboard on those keys, it will play those notes. I'm quite the musician, as you can tell. You can change your octaves by dragging this little blue box. You'll also see that you have your various octave switches right here and your sustain pedal is your tab key. You also have a, an up and down volume and all sorts of other things available for you. Uh, the other way to do this is if you come up here in the upper left corner, then you get a regular piano with far more octaves but you do have to play it with your mouse. There are keyboards you can connect up to GarageBand, but uh, this is the way that it's typically done. And even though you can't hit more than one key at a time with your mouse, uh, it is possible to record two separate tracks, one with a right hand and one with a left hand, or one with multiple notes on it. And I'll show you a little later how you can adjust it so that you can play multiple notes at one time. For now, we need to record this track. Now the problem that we'd have set up right now if I was to hit record and start playing is we would also be hearing all of the other tracks that are that are involved in my project. That may sound good but the problem is is that sometimes it's a little overwhelming to hear all of those tracks going on at one time. You can adjust where the sound falls within a track later by adjusting or moving right to left uh, the track. So you grab the track and move it back and forth. So since we can place that track later, all we really need to do is record the track the way we want it. To hear just a single track at any time, whether you want to listen to it for playback or whether you want to silence the other tracks while you're recording, there's a little headphone icon right down here 
below the name of the track or the instrument and you click on that little headphone icon and you'll notice that the other tracks gray out. That means that this is all that we're going to hear is this one track. I strongly recommend that you use headphones while you do this. Uh, even if you're the only person around, it does make it quite a bit easier uh, to do. So here we are. We've got this little grand piano track. We've got our headphones turned on. We're ready to record. So I'm going, going to come down here and click the record button and then play. And then we can hit our space bar to stop the recording. Now that was beautiful. I know it was very uh, professional sounding. So now we go through and we place the track wherever we'd like. We can turn the headphones icon off now by clicking on it. And this is essentially what we have. Don't expect anything too beautiful here. Hello, this is Adam Cochran, and this is a GarageBand tutorial. Thank you very much for listening to this introduction. Okay, you'll notice first of all that the voice track was drowned out. I'll show you in a later video how to adjust the volume on each one of the tracks so that it sounds right. You can mix it all up and make it sound however you want. But now we're going to go back and talk about this software instrument track. If you've double clicked on this track, you should see down at the bottom where that piano keyboard is. You'll also see that you have these little white bars. Have you ever seen Close Encounters? It kind of reminds me of that. You've got these bars, and each one coincides with the note that you hit, and there's the, split, there's the place on the keyboard uh, where you hit it. You can grab these notes and adjust them by dragging your mouse however you'd like. You can also go to the very end and adjust the length of how long that note plays for. So there's all sorts of adjustments you can make here once you've recorded the track. This is one way to make it so that you can hit multiple notes at one time uh, after you've uh, already recorded the track. So we get this however we'd like. Here's what it sounds like. Let me turn on my headphones here so that you can hear that track all by itself. Okay. Now the other cool thing you can do is if you decide, you know, that sounds great as a grand piano, but I wish it sounded different. I wish I would have played it with a guitar. You can come over to guitars and hit whatever guitar you'd like. We'll try this big electric lead. Now when we go back and listen to it, it automatically changes. And it plays whatever instrument we choose. Now you can add multiple tracks with multiple different instruments so you can, like I said, create a whole rock band or a whole orchestra just in this software package all by itself. In a future video I'll show you how to adjust the volume of each track and also how to add in what are called loops, which are riffs or kind of bass lines that you can play in behind a track to kind of set everything up, uh, set a foundation of a track down. Uh, that's all we have for now. Please watch the other tutorials if you'd like to learn how we got to this point.